All right, it's a 2006 Volvo S60, uh, 2.5 turbo USA version. Um, this is just a quick video about this blower motor um, replacement. Now, I've taken the carpet out of here. That's just a floor mat. I've taken the carpet out, which I think is much easier. It's not that hard to take out. Uh, that's a whole different video, but uh, you can try it without it. But uh, basically the trim, these two bolts here, some trim along there. It's really not that hard if you're going to be... I wanted to go ahead in here and get... Um, let me see. I was going to replace a couple of these actuators. Some are clicking when the AC's on, so I wanted to replace those. Uh, then it turns out, <laughs> before I even got around to this, because I had a couple of the project come on, I had a, this thing burnt out. The uh, resistor, the new one I had, I think it may have been the plug was already corrupted from water... This whole thing is related to water ingress from underneath here. So I took that thing, this off cowling, put silicone around that water entry thing. That seems to have solved it. Um, <clears throat> so luckily the whole thing's apart and uh, so went out. So I had to go buy a plug at a junkyard to pull apart. Luckily they had one. So I've, and while I was there, I went ahead and bought the, Resistor. I took the old one back to the big box auto parts store. They took it back. Again, I don't know if it was their fault. The plug, uh, the plug may have been wet and corroded, so it may have caused uh, some burning. Anyway, um, so I had to splice in these. I would have liked to try and unpin these, but it's pretty difficult. I really couldn't figure it out because <clears throat> I only really needed to replace one. But um, so now I've got. Well, so I was at the junkyard for. $23. I went ahead and got the OEM blower motor with the OEM um, resist or what's that called? The uh, anyway, the resistor in here. Uh, so I went ahead and put that. This is the old blower motor. It, it is better. Um, it, it works better. It sounds better. It's it's more. It's it blows uh, more air. So you know, again, this was probably $150. I mean. So I went ahead and said, well, while well, I got the whole thing open, I'll do that. So here's the issue here for this video specifically. There's five screws to get this loose. One, two, three, four, and five. And this thing is basically oriented properly how it sits in where the screws are. Um, this is a T25. I believe they're T25s. This is a nice tool. If you had a stubby one, that would help for this back corner one. And the key is, I got this at AutoZone. Um, so I don't have the part number. You'll see it's in a package with four or five other little tools. This, this thing comes out like that. So um, this one is for, I think this is the hardest one. So you reach your hand in like that. You can feel it. And you just have to hold it up with one finger and then just turn it a little quarter turns. And it'll come loose. And that uh, seems to be a problem. A lot of people just break that last one. This one, uh, I think I was able to get to this one with the screwdriver or a combination, maybe. I think I put it by hand and then I used the uh, little baby ratchet. All right, so hopefully that helps you. Uh, again, having the carpet out does give you more room. It's one of those things where, yeah, you don't want to take the 25 minutes to take your carpet out, but it might save you in the long run, um, especially if you have a water leak. It's the uh, only thing you can do is to take the carpet out and then do uh, all the processes, see if you get the water leak solved. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull the carpet out, dry it up, seal it up. I'd drive it around for a couple weeks to make sure, run it through a car wash a few times or drive it in the rain, make sure it's really sealed up. All right, hope that helps. Thanks.